Now, let's go to our next problem. This still has the same nature as our previous problem. Menor company sells two products with the following per unit data. So our selling price per unit, variable cost per unit, contribution margin per unit, and sales mix. If fixed costs are 630,000, the number of standard and deluxe units that Menor must sell to break even is how much or how many units we are so there we are asking about the units here so we need to compute for break even point in units so we have our weighted average contribution margin so we need to solve rather for our weighted average contribution margin so that is fixed cost over weighted average contribution margin so our weighted average contribution margin we have for the contribution margin of standard 30 multiplied by the sales mix is actually 3 over 3 plus 2 now add 60 for deluxe multiplied by 2 over 3 plus 2. So actually, that's just to compute for their mix. Standard and deluxe. We have 3 over 3 plus 2 is 60%. And 2 over 3 plus 2, that is 40%. So we have now 30 times 0.6. We have 18 plus 60 times 0.4. We have 24 plus 18. So our contribution mar weighted average contribution margin is 42. So to get our break-even point in units, that is 630,000 divided by 42. So 630,000 divided by 42, we get 15,000. So, how many would be deluxe, standard rather, standard, and how many would be deluxe for this? We have, how much would be the share of standard? That is 60% and deluxe would be 40%. So, that is 15,000 times 0.6. We have 9,000 deluxe. And how much for a uh, standard rather and for deluxe would be 15,000 times 0.4 we have 6,000 so in here we would note that actually if we will change this if we would have a higher share of the deluxe units than standard what would be the effect on the break-even point the break-even point would actually decrease because we would have more units sold on the item in the mix with the higher contribution margin so here we have 9,000 standard units and 6,000 deluxe units as the say as the break mix in the break even point so now let's proceed to a problem wherein the break even point will shift the following data relate to Herbert company, which sells a single product. So the selling price, purchase cost per unit, sales commission, which is 10% of selling price, monthly fixed cost of 80000 The firm salesperson would like to change their compensation from a 10% commission to a 5% commission plus 20000 per month in salary. Currently, they only receive commission as their compensation. The change in compensation plan should change the monthly break-even point by how much? So in here, the unit selling price is 20. So what is the current, uh, what is the current break-even point? For this problem so current we have the current BEP which is 
your fixed cost is 80,000 divided by they have uh, we have to compute for our contribution margin which is 20 sales minus purchase cost of 11 minus 2 the uh, sales commission so therefore we have our contribution margin would be 20 minus 11 minus 2 that is 7 so 80,000 divided by 7 that is our current break-even point 11 4 2 that is 11 4 2 8 point 57 so what is your break-even point there that is 11 4 2 9 so if it is 11 4 2 8 point 57 you should go for 11 4 2 9 why is that so remember that uh, our computation here our computation in break-even planning is that we need to get a quantity wherein we will not have losses anymore but we are uh, we are not in a profit state yet so if we would go for in this problem 11 4 2 8 point 57 we cannot sell fractional units right the point 57 one so if we will if we will comp if we will have a fractional answer we will get the higher amount so we round up rather than round off so if the plan changes how much would be our how much would be uh how much would be the fixed cost? So the new fixed cost would be that is eighty thousand plus twenty thousand. Now the new the new variable the new the new variable cost would be it is uh, the sales of twenty multiplied by five percent plus eleven. So. 20 plus multiplied by 0 0.05 that is 1 actually plus 11 we get our new variable cost as 12 the new cm would be now 20 minus 12 or 8 so to compute for the new bep we have 100,000 divided by 8 or 100,000 divided by 8 that would be 12,500. So the change in break even point would be 12,500 minus 11,429 minus 11,429. That is 1,071 units. So it means the company might uh, might need to sell more in order to cover their fixed costs first but the positive side of having having a higher contribution margin is that once we we have more sales already once sales are increased then the increase in profit would be uh, more than when it increases in terms of in terms of uh a company having more variable expenses which in this case the company would be converting a portion of the variable cost into fixed cost so that is 1071 now let's try to use a CVP analysis in profit planning stone company plans to sell 400,000 laundry hangers the fixed costs are 600,000 and the variable cost is 60%. So of the selling price of the selling price, if the company wants to realize a profit of 120,000, the selling price of each laundry hanger must be So in here, we need to compute for the for the selling price. We already have we have the sales here, we have the variable cost, so CM then we have our fixed cost of 600,000. Then they want to realize a profit of 120,000. So your contribution margin must be 720,000. 
And it is mentioned here that the variable cost ratio is 60%. So your contribution margin ratio is at 40% to achieve your sales of 100%. So now, 720 divided by 0.4, we have our sales of 1.8 million. So just to put it there, the variable cost would be 1 million 80. Now, this 1.8 million would be applicable for 400,000 laundry hangers. So that is 1.8 million divided by 400,000. That would be the selling price per unit or 1 million 800 divided by 400,000. We have 4.5 per unit. So that's it. Now we go to step costs. What are step costs? So uh, this is like, for example, it we have mentioned that uh, within the relevant range, like within the relevant range, if we have a graph, fixed cost will remain fixed. But using uh, using step fixed costs. So this is, for example, this is the relevant range. This is the relevant range. There we go. But for step fixed costs, it would be like this. Like for every step, we have new fixed costs like that. So it's as if the it's as if the relevant range is uh, divided into, into sub-relevant ranges. Although this is one relevant range. So that is how step fixed costs occur. So in here, it's like they are forming a ladder. That's why they are called step fixed costs. Now, we go with our problem Millie operates a halo-halo business at a minimum she employs one assistant that she pays 10,000 each month she rents the stand at 10,000 each month also she pays a monthly fee of 5,000 for the eye shaving machine rental the selling price of each cup of halo-halo is at 60 while variable costs are at 35 at the minimum quantity of assistants she can sell up to 900 cups each month. If she decides to add one more assistant with the same salary, the stall's capacity will double. If three assistants were employed, sales would be at 2,200 cups. The three assistants will be able to handle two eye shaving machines and it would further increase the stall's capacity to 2,800 cups. What is the stall's break-even point? So to solve for this, actually, we need to plot our we need to plot our step fixed costs so the range that we have for example uh, in here the first range would be they can sell up to 900 cups so that is 0 to 900 what would be your fixed cost here that is one assistant of 10000 plus the stand which is 10000 plus the eye shaving machine of 5,000. So the total would be 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000. We have 25,000. Now, we can actually compute for the contribution margin here. We have 60 minus 35. That is 60 minus 35, 25. Now, for the for the second range in here if she decides to add one more assistant the capacity will double so that is from 901 units to 1800 units your fixed cost would be she will add one more assistant so that is 25000 plus 10000 35 thousand if three assistants were employed 
So that is 35,000 plus 10,000. That so that would go to 45,000. Sales will be at 2,000 200 cups so that is 1801 to 2200 three assistants will be able to handle two eye shaving machines which would further increase the stall's capacity to 2800 cups so that is 45000 plus 5000 the fixed cost at this level is 50000 which would have a capacity of 2800 so if you would note here, it's as if we have, uh, we have many relevant ranges. So each line would represent a range. Now, to compute for your break-even point, what is the formula of break-even point? Fixed cost over CM. So now, which of these fixed costs would you be using? You would start at the, at the lowest range. Why? Because the contribution margin, uh, the break-even point as defined, would be the lowest amount of sales that you need to you need to have in order to neither have profit nor have losses. So for the first range, we have twenty-five thousand divided by twenty-five. So twenty-five thousand divided by twenty-five. Your break-even point in units would be 1,000. Now, there comes the problem. The range says 0 to 900. So it means you can only sell up to 900 units on the first range. Therefore, the first range in the first range, you do not have your break-even point yet. We now move to the second range. Where in 35,000 divided by 25, we will get... 35,000 divided by 25, that is 1,400. So, this is already our answer because it is within the relevant range, the 900, no, rather the range of that step fixed cost. So, in the middle is 1,400. Now, why can't we use the third one? What is 45,000 divided by 25? That is 1,800. First of all, it is not in the range. Second of all, which, which one of these two, the 1,400 and 1,800, is higher? 1,800, right? It means you need to sell more on the third break-even point than the second break-even point computed. So still, 1,400 is the answer. So because, as mentioned, break-even point is the lowest quantity that you need to sell in order to recover your fixed costs and not yet reali realize profits.